EU Migration Commissioner Dimitris Avramopoulos says the regional disembarkation centers for asylum seekers that some EU leaders are punting will not become a, quote, Guantanamo Bay for migrants. As far as the establishment of external centers in other countries within, within Europe, I want to be very clear on that. I'm against Guantanamo Bay for migrants. This is something that is against our European values. So it's out of question. We don't have any, uh, any country. But uh, as I told before, it has to be discussed with these countries. No proposal and no expression of willingness to be part of such a scheme because an official proposal has not been put on the table. Despite those assurances, rights groups have expressed concern over the potential mistreatment of migrants. Last year, the United Nations and African countries began flying their citizens home from Libya following reports that thousands of migrants were mistreated in detention centers and even sold off as slaves. The UN has also imposed sanctions on human traffickers. One of them is a militia leader who heads up a faction of Libya's Coast Guard. These smugglers have been accused of using violence to force migrant boats back to shore in Libya. Several developments there pertaining to the Mediterranean migrant crisis. Let's get you more details. I'm joined live from Brussels by our correspondent Jack Parrock. Jack, the EU is hoping to strike a deal with North African countries to detain migrants. How willing are those countries and what will the EU offer to encourage them to agree? Not willing at all is the answer at the moment. We've heard from, for instance, Tunisia's ambassador to the European Union saying that the answer from the Tunisian government to this idea is no. And that's because they feel that uh, many North African countries feel that they're already heavily burdened by the migration crisis and many sub-Saharan Africans heading up to North Africa to try and enter the European Union on these smugglers' boats. Uh, so Tunisia says no, but there's an, we'll have to wait and see really what the European Union might offer in exchange for setting up these centres. I have to say that here in Europe, the idea of setting up the, the processing centres in North Africa is incredibly uh, controversial, uh, but the European Union and many European uh, states are keen on finding a way to prevent people from boarding boats on the Libyan coastline mainly to try and reach the European Union. Now, one of the main difficulties about this is the processing centres, ideally, I suppose, because of where many of the people are leaving from, Libya, would be very difficult to set up there because of the divided nature of that country at the moment. Now, the EU's migration commissioner says asylum seekers will be treated humanely, but we've already seen how many were, were treated in Libyan detention camps. So what's to stop the further abuse of migrants? Well, the European Union will insist that the, the detention centres will be operated, we expect, by European Union officials, which would mean that they would be forced to uphold European values. That's how the EU's putting it forward. But as you say, there's been some real distressing reports of exploitation, even sort of slavery selling in Libya uh, as part of this refugee and migration crisis. Uh, so there are concerns, especially from human rights organizations, about how exactly this would work and how it would allow, whether it would allow people to really be able to seek asylum, especially if they're fleeing uh, countries where they could be persecuted. The EU will be discussing all of this on Sunday and next week. But like you mentioned, the bloc is hugely divided over migration at the moment. What can you tell us about that? Indeed. So this was on Sunday, there was meant to be what we were calling a mini summit of initially we thought six countries of the European Union leaders. Uh, and now it's going to be 16 out of the 28. So probably more of a medium summit than a mini summit. And they're coming here for four hours specifically to discuss what they can do about the migration crisis. Last uh, week, just over a week ago, there was this ship, the Aquarius, uh, that wasn't allowed to dock. It would, had rescued a load of migrants from smugglers' by, b uh, boats, and it wasn't able to dock in Italy or in Malta. They both refused. It ended up going to Spain, and people were taken off the boat. And it's really putting pressure on the European Union to come up with an, a way of solving this crisis. Because as we head into the summer months and the Mediterranean Sea becomes flatter, there are likely to be many, many more boats and many more rescue ships. All of this summit that's happening on Sunday, though, will lead up to a full 
EU summit of 28 leaders here on Thursday next week, where we expect them to either put forward a solid proposal about these uh, asylum processing centres in North Africa, perhaps come up with a proposal to put to the North African countries or find another way of dealing with it because the European Union knows now that something has to be done and also in countries like Germany this issue is threatening to pull apart their government coalition, the ruling coalition that Angela Merkel has headed. She's the one that called this, this summit on Sunday to try and get it all sorted out. All right, Jack, we appreciate you talking to us. Thank you very much for your time. Jack Parrock, live for us in Brussels.